Wolf was a man who was sentenced, I think, 10 or 11 years ago for murder for hire. Um, he's innocent. The court has since vacated this sentence, but he's, he's waiting on death row to find out whether or not um, he will be retried. And I think the Commonwealth has appealed the decision to overturn this conviction. Um, it, it's a complicated case, um, but we have his mother here, Terry Steinberg, who um, can speak about uh, her story and about Justin's story. I want to thank you all for coming out um, tonight, and thank you, Jeff, for all the work that you've done. Um, the death penalty isn't a you know, common conversation. It's not something people like to talk about, and it's not something you talk about at parties. And as a young, busy mom, I never thought about it either. Um, I have four young kids. I drive a minivan. And I don't have time to think about the death penalty. You know, I mean, it, it, it's not fair. Jerry wasn't making half the money the attorney general and the governor was making, and yet they're the ones saying, you do it. And Jerry had to sit next to him and say, what do you want for your last meal? That's not right. I, I mean, that's the reason I had interviewed Jerry in the first place was because I wanted someone to say on camera what Justin might face. I wanted someone who knew firsthand. Um, and it, it ended up being this whole other story that I followed. But, um, you know, I, I kept sort of getting him to explain to me, you know, step by step what it's like. Uh, because I, we, I mean, we don't know. You know, they don't allow cameras uh, during executions. You know, I mean, it's this thing that happens, um, you know, in private. And, and they're very protective of, uh, of their of their rituals. And what do you think? Tell me a little bit, a little about the media's presentation of Justin's case because that has changed somewhat over the years, you know. And talk a little bit, a little bit about uh, the, some of the publicity that he's received. Forty-eight hours is going to be involved, and he said you can either talk to them or not. But if you don't talk to them, they're only going to present their side of it. So if you want anything positive or anybody to even get to know who Justin is, then you need to cooperate. So we did the best we could. Um, I still think that most of that nine months I was in shock. But um, the show came out, and of course, because we had lost, 48 Hours kind of slanted it toward the prosecution. And, and um, I've spent the past 10 years going out and speaking in schools and colleges and churches hoping to raise awareness about the death penalty and, and getting people involved because I never would have gotten involved in this if it hadn't happened to my son or if I hadn't known what our system was doing. You get 48 hours in there, I guess. But it's funny because when we when his convictions were turned over, when they vacated the conviction, um, 48 hours kind of came back and were stumbling over themselves, apologizing for the way they portrayed it the first time out.